today we're going to be writing a paragraph that's going to showcase all the skills we've been looking at this week. So a reminder, we've been looking at the idea that dialogue, that's the speech that we have, can give us lots of clues about a character. So I'm going to give you a little one of my dialogue and let's have a little chat through it. Started by setting the scene. The hour was late. Lights reflected on the surface of the river. Now I've got my character come in. All was quiet as Jack hobbled along the footpath. So already dropped a few clues by using the word hobbled. That might give you a little bit of a clue. Suddenly he heard a rustling in the bushes. So I've spot some speech in here. Let's have a look, see what clues we can spot about this character and maybe how he, the character's feeling. Ah, comes out here, you pesky landlubber. I be afraid of no one. Not put an accent on because I want to give you any clues there. So what clues do you think you might be able to spot from that bit of speech there? Ah, comes out here, you pesky landlubber. I be afraid of no one. So, clues of who it might be and how you might be feeling. Well, the idea he's hobbling along the footpath. Usually clue number one is not doesn't walk very well. Uh, the speech, ah, comes out here, you pesky landlubber. I be afraid of no one is in informal language. The fact he's saying come out here tells you that he's feeling a bit aggressive. And the fact that he says he's afraid of no one is showing he's a character that's showing bravery. So a small amount of speech gives him lots of clues about this character, lots of clues about how he's feeling. Here's the second character. A lady walked regally out of the darkness. Surely you recognise me, my good man, she replied, her cut glass accent as clear as a bell. And in case you're not quite sure, the word cut glass means she's got a very posh accent. What clue do you think you spot about this second character? Well, again, a lady walking really out of the darkness. Really is kind of linked with royalty. And she's using formal language, whereas character one, number one used informal language. Surely you recognise me, my good man. Makes you think the character's feeling a bit cross there because she feels that the man is not showing her the respect she deserved. And the fact that she's giving a very posh voice might give a kind of clue about her character as well. So, who have I had this conversation between? Who do you think these people are? Well, it was a pirate and the queen. I just chose at random, but they kind of showcase the idea that actually I dropped quite a lot of clues about these characters and how they were feeling from just a small amount of speech there. So see what you can do. Remember, don't tell me directly, show me by what the characters are doing. Enjoy your paragraph.